Hey guys, it's Trey with Sniper Marine. We're just here in the shop and I wanted to go over with you the new Sniper holster mount. Um, when you get it in your box, it's going to come fully assembled like this. This, uh, this does not necessarily mean you need every part that you've gotten. It really depends on what type of boat and where you're going to mount it at. So let me highlight a couple of the parts for you. So if you'll look here, you'll see this is the clamp. This is the inch and a half ID clamp. This goes to your pole. Your pole will uh, mount inside of this. And so depending on um, your setup, you'll determine where you need to clamp it on the mount sleeve. But you'll see this clamp comes inside of the holster. So it slides in like that. Then it also turns horizontal and slides in as well. Same track on top and down. You'll see in the back of the clamp, you're going to see a stainless screw here in the middle, and then you're going to see that there's a brass screw here at the top. What this brass does, this is a breakaway ability built into the clamp. So if this is your mount and it's over the side of the boat and you hit something, it'll break, it'll shear that brass screw and it'll push your pole backwards and allow it to break away to keep you from completely damaging your unit. If you do break off the brass screw on the back side of your clamp, you'll see that there is four more slots where you can insert another screw and get back to fishing. If you're out on the water and you break all of them, you can still tighten down the center stainless bolt and get back to fishing as well. You'll see that on top of your mount, you have a, a piece of track. You can leave that in the place that it is, or you can actually take it off You can take it off, it's just four screws, and you can utilize it somewhere else in your boat to stow your pole. So you can mount this to the deck of your boat, or maybe you know on, on the front of some boats on the side of the deck, and you'll still be able to take the pole and put it into the mount. Each mount comes with some different parts in a different bag and you'll see here you're going to need these to put it on your boat. So it comes with three screws. These are number eight screws. These are made to go in this five inch piece of mount track that I'll talk about here in just a minute. But you'll see they fit perfectly in there and mount flush. Those are to help you attach your track to the boat. You'll see you've got two stainless knobs that are made to go into this mount strip. This is a five inch uh, mount strip. And so you'll attach this to your boat and that way you can take your mount on and off the boat and just leave the strip. You'll see that on the mount strip, there's multiple spots to mount. The holes line up in different places depending on how you have to mount your strip and the alignment of where you want it going over the gunnel. You'll see also in the bag, you get an extra stainless knob. You can use this here in the side of the track for when you stow your pole, if you use this track somewhere else or on the top. You can also use it down here over the water at your own risk. But this also takes all the play out of the holster. So if you're worried about how much slack is in the holster, then you can use this knob to tighten it down. You'll also see that each mount comes with a spring pin. This spring pin is made to fit into the side of the clamp. You'll see the clamp has a divot made into it. When you put that into the mount over the water is ideal, or if you're gonna use it for stowing at the top, once you screw that in, you'll be able to see that it protrudes out inside the track. Then when you slide your clamp in, it'll be locked into place and you'll have to pull the spring pin to release the clamp like that you can choose which track you decide to put that into we also sell more of those online if you want to completely do away with the knobs now I want to show you guys some of the adjustments that we built into the holster mount to allow it to adapt to any boat or mountain situation. So you'll see here on the bottom of your mount that you've got four screws. You've got two screws that have rubber tips on them. 
these are the rubber feet that you're going to set to ride on top of the gunnel so that you don't hurt your finish. You want to set these, once you get the mount installed, you want to set these, one, to rest level on top of the gunnel, and then two, you want to set them at the furthest point out on the gunnel to create better leverage. You'll see also, too, that you've got two cap screws here on the end, and these will go in any of these threaded holes. You'll loosen these, and it'll unlock it to where you can extend your mount all the way up to 11 and an eighth inch across the gunnel. You'll also see that there is a extension piece here on the end of the mount, right here. You'll see that it has two screws in the side and that it's keyed to fit in to the top plate. This allows you to add some extension to the top of the mount without having to adjust it out so far on the slots, but it also gives you the ability to overcome different mount scenarios like a very unusual surface to create different contours. So you'll see this hinges here on the one screw and you can lock it down at any position. Then you also have another point out here on the mount, Let me loosen it up, it also hinges. Also in some scenarios with certain track systems at different angles, for instance the C-Arc 22 degree rail, I recommend mounting it in a position inverted like this. You'll see some of those pictures on our website as well. But basically with these adjustments you'll be able to adapt to any type of boat or gunnel size. When choosing the right place to mount your 5 inch mount strip, the location may not be close to the top of the gunnel. If not, you can also utilize the extension that comes with the mount. To increase the distance that you can reach. So if you have to put your mount strip further from the top of the gunnel, you can use this extension to reach down. If you have a narrow gunnel and you don't need all the extension, you'll see that you can take this bolt out, take this one out as well, And you do not have to use this part. Then you'll mount, you'll take your mount plate and you'll put it directly to the top plate. You still have the adjustment on the bottom to set it. One good thing about the sniper holster mount, specifically with bass boats, is that you can actually set the distance to where the holster is inside the rub rail of the boat so then it doesn't stick outside um, when you're going to dock so you don't catch it on something and so when the clamp is inserted that's what overcomes the edge when the clamp goes into the holster it adds approximately an inch in certain circumstances you may not want to utilize the over the gunnel mount but in the same system you also have a flat spot mount let me show you that. So you'll see here that track that comes on top of the top plate. It can be mounted to any flat spot in your boat. Then you'll take off the rubber feet. The leveler screws. and take out the cap screws that hold on the extension. Now you're left with an L-shaped piece. This is the drop. It's keyed on the end to also fit the track system. So you'll be able to take this mount, put it on the boat, and then you'll be able to insert the drop for a flat spot mount. We recommend using the same screws that come in the system, the stainless knob. By tightening this down, it locks the L drop into place like this. So then you can still deploy your pole into the mount, 
take it out, stow it in your boat, and then when you're done for the day, you can loosen the knob, and take the full mount apart. You just mount it using these four screws here to the deck of your boat. You can through bolt it or screw it down. These are the main features of the Sniper holster mount. And if you have any more questions, you can check us out online. We've got some good videos and information there, or you can give us a call anytime.